Hey everyone, welcome back. We're diving into something you specifically requested, uh, Proxmox monitoring. Mm -hmm. You mentioned needing a better way to keep an eye on those Proxmox systems, something a bit more, you know, user friendly in real time. Finding that sweet spot between detailed insights and not getting lost in, you know, complex setups. Yeah, absolutely. And you're not alone in wanting that kind of monitoring. Constantly logging into the Proxmox UI just to glance at resource usage. It can be a real time sink, especially if you're managing multiple nodes. Right. It's like having to walk all the way to your server room just to check a couple LEDs on the front panel. But thankfully, there's a solution out there that's uh, caught our eye and it might be what you're looking for. Proxmox Pulse. Proxmox Pulse aims to be that single pane of glass providing a real-time overview of your entire Proxmox environment nodes, VMs, containers, the whole nine yards. Okay, I'm intrigued already. But before we get ahead of ourselves, what exactly makes Proxmox Pulse stand out? I mean, there are already tools like the built-in Proxmox UI Grafana, even heavier hitters like Zabbix. Good point. Let's compare. Think about those times you're troubleshooting a performance issue. With the Proxmox UI, you're constantly logging in and out, clicking through menus. It's very reactive. Pulse, on the other hand, gives you instant feedback via WebSockets, so you're seeing those CPU spikes, disk, I.O., bottlenecks, network congestion as they happen. Ah, so it's less about sifting through logs after the fact and more about catching issues in real time before they uh, snowball into bigger problems. Exactly. And while Grafana with InfluxDB is fantastic for historical analysis and trend spotting those dashboards, often update every few seconds at best, Pulse is truly real time, which can be critical when every second counts. I'm starting to see the appeal here. It's like having that constant pulse on your Proxmox systems, knowing instantly if something needs attention. But what about the setup? Is this another rabbit hole of configurations and dependencies? And not at all. One of the biggest advantages of Proxmox Pulse is its simplicity. We're talking about a lightweight Docker-based solution that can be up and running in minutes. Wait, hold on. You're telling me I can get a comprehensive real-time monitoring system running with just a few Docker commands? That's almost too good to be true. It really is that straightforward. And because it's so lightweight, it won't eat up your valuable system resources. The source mentions it can run comfortably with just 256 millibits of RAM, which is perfect if you're running Proxmox on older hardware or in a resource-constrained environment. Okay, you've definitely piqued my curiosity. So let's say I'm sold on this whole Proxmox Pulse thing. What's the setup process actually look like? Is it truly as painless as you're making it sound? It really is. In fact, we can walk through it right now. Lead the way. First, you'll grab the configuration file. It's a simple one-liner command using curl to download it from the official Proxmox Pulse GitHub repository. Okay, so far so good. Just a quick download, nothing too intimidating even for someone new to this whole Docker thing. Exactly. Then you open this configuration file, which is just a simple text file, and add your Proxmox credentials. This is how Pulse securely accesses your Proxmox environment. Makes sense. But I have to ask, what about security? We're talking about giving access to our Proxmox systems here. Is there any risk involved? That's an important question. The beauty of Proxmox Pulse is that it only requires read-only access to your Proxmox environment. So while it can gather all the information it needs to display those real-time metrics, it can't actually make any changes to your VMs, containers, or nodes. Okay, that's reassuring to hear. Read-only access definitely helps me sleep better at night, knowing that even if something went wrong, Pulse wouldn't be able to wreak havoc on my systems. Exactly. It's all about striking that balance between functionality and security. All right. So we've downloaded the configuration file, added our credentials. What's next in this four-step setup process? The third step is where Docker works its magic. You start the Docker container using a simple Docker run command, specifying the necessary ports environment variables and container name. So Docker handles all the heavy lifting, ensuring that Pulse has the right environment to run smoothly. And what about that final step? Once the container is up and running, you simply open your web browser and navigate to the specified address, typically http.localhost.7654. And that's it. You'll be greeted by the Proxmox Pulse dashboard, ready to give you those real-time insights into your Proxmox systems. Wow. It really is as simple as you made it sound. Four steps, and boom, you're monitoring your Proxmox environment in real time. And if you prefer using Docker Compose, the source mentions that Proxmox Pulse supports that as well, giving you even more flexibility in how you deploy it. All right, we've talked about the problem. Pulse solves its advantages over some alternatives and even the surprisingly easy setup process. But what about the dashboard itself? What kind of information can I actually see there? That's where things get really interesting. Let's dive into that in part two of this deep dive. 
Welcome back. Before we dig into that Proxmox Pulse dashboard, uh, it's worth highlighting that the development team is incredibly active and responsive to user feedback. Oh yeah, the, the source mentioned they're working on some cool new features. Yeah. It's always great to see a project that's actively evolving and incorporating user input. Absolutely. For example, they're planning to add temperature monitoring for CPU, GPU, and system temps. Imagine being able to spot a failing fan or overheating component before it takes down your whole server. That's the kind of proactive insight that can save you a ton of headaches. That's a great point. It's not just about seeing what's happening right now, but also about getting ahead of potential problems. What else is on their roadmap? Well, they're also working on smart disk health monitoring, which can help you identify hard drives that are on their last legs, you know, before they fail and take your data with them. Oh, wow. That would have saved me a lot of stress a couple of years ago when I lost a whole RAID array because I didn't catch a failing drive in time. Yeah. Anything else that's got you excited? Definitely. They're planning to add ZFS pool status for real-time ZFS health monitoring and even Proxmox backup server support. It's clear they're really focused on building a comprehensive monitoring solution for the entire Proxmox ecosystem. So it's not just a side project. They're really investing in making this a top-notch tool. Okay, I think we've teased it long enough. Let's finally dive into that Proxmox Pulse dashboard. What can users expect to see when they fire it up? All right, picture this. You open your web browser, go to the Pulse address, and you're greeted by this clean, intuitive dashboard that gives you an immediate overview of your entire Proxmox infrastructure. Okay, that's a good start. But what kind of information are we actually talking about? Give me the juicy details. Well, right at the top, you'll see a summary of all your Proxmox nodes. You can instantly see the status of each node, whether it's online or offline, its overall CPU usage, memory utilization, and network activity. It's like a quick health check for your entire cluster. So I can tell at a glance if any of my nodes are overloaded or having issues? That's handy. But what if I want to dig deeper into a specific node? Easy. You simply click on the node and Pulse takes you to a dedicated page for that node. Here you'll find detailed graphs and metrics for everything from CPU usage across all cores to memory consumption, disk I.O., and network traffic. Okay, so I can really drill down and see what's happening on a granular level. Yeah. That's much better than clicking through multiple menus in the Proxmox UI. Right. And remember, all of this data is updating in real time thanks to those WebSockets we mentioned earlier. You're not looking at stale data you're seeing the current state of your system as it changes. That's got to be a game changer for troubleshooting performance issues yeah. or spotting those intermittent problems that are so hard to diagnose. Absolutely. And it's not just about nodes. Pulse also gives you detailed insights into your virtual machines and containers. Oh, interesting. So I can see how my individual VMs and containers are performing within the context of the entire node. Exactly. You can see each VM's CPU usage, memory consumption, disk activity, and network traffic, all beautifully visualized and easy to understand graphs and charts. And if you need to dive deeper, you can even access the console of a specific VM or container directly from the Pulse dashboard. Wait, hold on. I can launch a console session right from Pulse? That's amazing. I won't have to jump back and forth between the Pulse dashboard and the Proxmox UI. Exactly. It's all about streamlining your workflow and giving you the information you need when you need it all in one convenient location. Okay, I'm really starting to see the value here. This is way more than just a simple monitoring tool. It's like a central command center for managing your entire Proxmox environment. That's a great way to put it. And there's more. Pulse also provides helpful visualizations for your storage networking and even your Proxmox backups, giving you a truly holistic view of your infrastructure. I'm impressed. They really have thought of everything. But I'm curious, is there anything the dashboard doesn't show? I mean, read-only access is great for security, but are there any limitations in terms of what Pulse can display? That's a sharp observation. While Pulse excels at providing real-time insights and historical data for resource usage, it doesn't delve into the nitty-gritty configuration details that you'd find in the Proxmox UI. So if I want to tweak a VM settings or create a new storage pool, I'd still need to use the Proxmox UI. That's right. Pulse is more about monitoring and understanding the current state of your Proxmox environment, not about making configuration changes. Hmm. That makes sense. It's like the difference between a car dashboard and a mechanics diagnostic tool. The dashboard gives you the essential information you need while driving, but for deeper repairs, you need more specialized tools. Exactly. Pulse is that at-a-glance dashboard helping you keep your Proxmox systems running smoothly. But if you need to tinker under the hood, so to speak, the Proxmox UI is still your go-to tool. I think that's a great way to sum it up. 
So we've covered a lot of ground here in part two from the upcoming features in the active development community to the detailed insights and visualizations that the Proxmox Pulse dashboard offers. We've seen how it can help you proactively identify potential problems, troubleshoot performance issues, and manage your entire Proxmox environment from a single intuitive interface. And we've explored some of its limitations, like the read-only access, that while excellent for security, means it's not a replacement for the full-fledged Proxmox UI. But before you make any decisions, we have one more part to this deep dive. We'll be back to discuss who Proxmox Pulse is perfect for and leave you with some final thoughts. Stay tuned. Welcome back to the final part of our deep dive into Proxmox Pulse. We've explored its features, benefits, and even walked through that refreshingly simple setup process. We've seen how its real-time monitoring and intuitive dashboard can really change the way you manage your Proxmox systems. Absolutely, from proactively identifying potential issues to troubleshooting those tricky performance bottlenecks, Pulse offers a level of insight and control that was previously only achievable with much more complex setups. Right, and it does all of this while remaining lightweight and incredibly user-friendly. But before we wrap things up, let's address the elephant in the room. Who exactly is Proxmox Pulse perfect for? If you're managing Proxmox systems and finding yourself constantly logging into that web UI just to get a quick overview, Pulse is an absolute game changer. It eliminates that repetitive task, giving you instant access to all the critical information you need right at your fingertips. So for anyone experiencing that UI fatigue or who just wants a faster, more efficient way to monitor their Proxmox environment, Pulse is worth a serious look. Definitely. And it's not just about convenience. If you're the kind of person who values proactive monitoring, being able to spot those warning signs before they turn into major problems, then Pulse is a must-have. Imagine catching a failing hard drive or an overeating CPU before it mm. takes down your entire system. That's peace of mind you can't put a price on. That's a great point. It's not just about reacting to problems. It's about preventing them in the first place. Exactly. And let's not forget those managing multiple Proxmox nodes. Pulse provides that single pane of glass that centralizes dashboard where you can quickly assess the health and performance of your entire infrastructure without having to jump between different screens or interfaces. That's got to be a huge time saver for anyone juggling a complex Proxmox environment. <laughs> but what about someone running Proxmox on a home server? Maybe an older machine with limited resources. Is Pulse still a good fit? Absolutely. Remember, Pulse is incredibly lightweight it won't hog your system resources. So even if you're running Proxmox on more modest hardware, you can still benefit from its real-time monitoring capabilities. So it's not just for enterprise level setups, it's accessible and beneficial for anyone running Proxmox, regardless of their hardware or experience level. I think that's fantastic. It really speaks to the power of open source software and the commitment of the Proxmox community to create tools that are both powerful and accessible. Okay, before we sign off, I want to leave our listeners with a final thought. <laughs> Imagine having all the vital information about your Proxmox systems readily available, constantly updating in real time. No more logging in, no more delays, just instant insights at your fingertips. That's the power of Proxmox Pulse. It's about taking control of your Proxmox environment, making informed decisions based on the most up-to-date information, and ultimately achieving that peace of mind knowing that your systems are running smoothly and efficiently. And... With its ease of setup intuitive dashboard and active development community, Proxmox Pulse is making that level of control accessible to everyone. It's an exciting time to be a Proxmox user. It certainly is. The future of Proxmox monitoring is bright and Pulse is leading the way. Well, that brings us to the end of our deep dive into Proxmox Pulse. We hope you found this exploration insightful and that you're now equipped with the knowledge to make informed decisions about your Proxmox monitoring needs. Remember, knowledge is power. And with Proxmox Pulse, you have the power to keep your Proxmox systems running smoothly and efficiently. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive. We'll be back soon with another fascinating exploration into the world of technology. Until then, keep learning, keep exploring, and keep those Proxmox servers humming.